Alright, welcome to the new series, How to Play, where you learn how to play retro games the way they were intended. We're going to start off with the first episode, learning how to play TMNT on the NES the way it was meant to be played. We've got all four Ninja Turtles here. Each turtle represents a life, so you got four lives to beat the game. Everyone loves the Ninja Turtles, at least they did back in the 90s, so let's begin. Alright, so, now this first part is crucial. Uh, when you start the game, this, uh, this bulldozer here is gonna run over Leonardo and take the first of your four measly lives. There's nothing you can do, he just gets ran over as soon as you turn the game on. So, what you want to do next is select the next turtle. I'm going to go with Raph and head down this sewer instead. So, all the turtles have different ranges with their weapons. You can see Raph has barely any range whatsoever. Uh, Mikey has about the same range as uh, Leonardo. We, we won't really know what Leonardo's range is because he dies at the start of the game. It's just guaranteed to happen. And then uh, Donatello has great range, but he can only attack in a straight line. So if any enemy decides to uh, come underneath, we're pretty much fucked. But we can do this and maybe hit them if they walk directly into the pole. We're going to switch back to Mikey, just because he covers a lot more range in front of him. Uh, the turtles, you'll be glad to hear, don't share a health bar, but their health is permanent. So, as you can see, Don took some damage. Uh, Mikey still has a little bit of damage, but is mostly fully healed. And, look, we averted that entire bulldozer hellscape by coming over this way. Um, foot soldiers can try and beat you up on the world map. Just dodge them, I guess. So, Mikey's almost dead. Let's switch to, uh, let's switch to Raph for now. If we see health, we're gonna need, there's a whole pizza in here. Thank goodness, because we need that to heal Mikey. And there's a little slice along the way. Look at that. How convenient. Perfectly set up. What you want to do is just cheese this guy through the floor, I guess. Hopefully you get up here before you get hit. There's really no way to avoid damage in this stage. That guy's just, he's sad now. He's, he's just sad now, so he's gonna hide. Don't worry, actually don't even worry about him, because guess what? In TMNT on the NES, all these enemies are infinitely respawning anyways, so there's nothing to worry about. Alright, so, uh, we came in here with the intentions of healing Mikey back to full health, because we saw that big, glorious pizza, but it looks like, uh, Raph's pretty much dead. So let's switch to Mikey, grab the pizza, use Raph as a meat shield, and try to get out of here. All right, <laughs> we did it. That's how you get out, you die. Um, let's move on now and avoid another one hit death bulldozer. Holy shit, that was close. So for this part, it's crucial that you use Donatello because he can hit all those guys. Try to jump over the, uh, the bullshit trap area, jump over that bullshit trap area. Just run away from all these guys. Don't know how I didn't take damage, but I'll take it. And now we've got the oldest trick in the book. Now this boss has never... So the fun fact, this boss has never been legitimately beaten by anyone. You just hide up here and uh, if you time it right, when he does his jump that looks like a crouch, you can damage him somehow without taking any damage. This is probably the uh, only part of the entire game that you won't lose a shit ton of health. Just gotta be patient and everything will be okay for once. We 
rescued April. Donnie's about to get some action. Don't let the Foot Clan destroy the dam. All right, well, we got her support, and that's really all we need. There's half a pizza. We'll try and uh, get it for our boy Mikey. There we go. There. Lost all his life anyways. No big deal. Thankfully, that guy's just too busy sucking himself off in order to... Instead of actually attacking you, so... He's an easy fight. There he is again. Mr. Self-Suck himself. Ooh, hopefully that was worth it. It usually uh, almost never is. Alright, and here we are. You want to use your turtle with the most health here because this is the final stage of the game. Um, it's the hardest level. You've got to deactivate all these bombs to protect the... Protect the dam, and uh, everything that touches you kills you. So don't touch anything. Um, so be patient so you don't touch anything, but also hurry the fuck up or the dam will explode. If you don't know the route, um, you're pretty much screwed. Uh, this here is just going to take all your health. Don't worry about that. You'll be fine. You don't need your health. Alright, so almost everybody's dead. We got Mikey left. Uh, let's see if we can beat the final stage. Alright, so he's got uh, about half health, so he should be alright. Uh, thankfully, this game is very, very forgiving, and uh, the, the, the bombs have already been turned off, the ones you've already stopped, so... Should be easy now. Like I said, we've got a ton of health left now, so let's take this bottom route, and we're dead. Instant kill, one hit, we're dead. Game over. Fuck this game. And that's, uh... How you play TMNT on the NES the way it was meant to be played.